When I was 19, I was traveling in Nepal and I came across a dry riverbed running through the valley. I looked up and just saw dozens and dozens of children breaking rocks. They would grab huge rocks from the riverbed and bring it to the side and break them with a mallet. It was just a moment for me where I started to question my own upbringing, how I could give back and what my role is, and just how we can do better as a human family, how we can make this world a better, more equal place for every single child. There was this one little girl named Hima, and she looked up at me and smiled with this big, beautiful smile, and she said, Namaste, Didi. And for me, that was a really powerful moment where I was just like, maybe I can't do everything for every single child I've met and for a million orphan children, but maybe Hima's life could change by putting her into school. And so that's really the beginning of, of where things started with Hima going to school with her uniform and her backpack and her fresh pigtails. And then the story just kind of evolved. We built a community organization and together with local people, we started with another child, then another child, and building the Blink Now Foundation, which gives every single child a chance to really thrive and grow through education, through nutrition, through love and support and soccer and an incredible school curriculum and a community that really embraces them. The title of the book is Between the Mountain and the Sky. It's a journey about motherhood, about Nepal, about grief and loss and love. The story really takes place at the foothills of the Himalayan mountains and I just have this image of the kids on the roof with their kites and their laughter and their music um, looking off into the mountains and the rice paddy. In the early years I would go up into the rural villages with with our team and just have a lot of reflective moments of being with a mountain like a Himalayan mountain that is just so powerful and so beautiful. And I was raising children in Nepal from a very young age and I just started keeping a journal and writing down stories and writing down these little moments. I had compiled just journal and after journal entry over the years and as the kids started to get older and come into their teen years and then go on to college, I noticed that they would start to tell stories with each other around the table or to the younger generation of kids coming in and stories that I hadn't even remembered about the early beginnings of, of the home and the school and our family. And that kind of sparked the idea of putting all of this together in a book of sorts. What I love about our story as a family is that we take really hard things and, and try to turn it into love and beauty and magic. And so there's definitely a thread of, of that throughout the book. And I wanna be able to handle, hand it to the kids and say, we've been through so much and you can continue to do absolutely anything and anything is possible and um, continue on, <laughs> continue on.